Easter is a time for Christians to celebrate the ultimate triumph of life over death in the resurrection of Jesus. And for all of us, it's a time to reflect on the part that Christianity plays in our national life. The church is not just a collection of beautiful old buildings. It's a living, active force doing great works right across our country. When people are homeless, the church is there with hot meals and shelter. When people are addicted or in debt, when people are suffering or grieving, the church is there. I know from the most difficult times in my own life that the kindness of the church can be a huge comfort. Across Britain, Christians don't just talk loving thy neighbour, they live it out in faith schools, in prisons, in community groups. And it's for all these reasons that we should feel proud to say, this is a Christian country. Yes, we're a nation that embraces, welcomes and accepts all faiths and none, but we're still a Christian country. That's why the government I lead has done some important things, from investing tens of millions of pounds to repair churches and cathedrals, to passing a law that reaffirms the right of councils to say prayers in their town hall. And as a Christian country, our responsibilities don't end there. We have a duty to speak out about the persecution of Christians around the world too. It is truly shocking that in 2015 there are still Christians being threatened, tortured, even killed because of their faith, from Egypt to Nigeria, Libya to North Korea. Across the Middle East, Christians have been hounded out of their homes, forced to flee from village to village, many of them forced to renounce their faith or brutally murdered. To all those brave Christians in Iraq and Syria who are practicing their faith or sheltering others, we must say, we stand with you. This government has put those words into action, whether getting humanitarian aid to those stranded on Mount Sinjar or funding grassroots reconciliation in Iraq. And in the coming months, we must continue to speak as one voice for freedom of belief. So this Easter, we should keep in our thoughts all those Christians facing persecution abroad and give thanks for all those Christians who are making a real difference here at home. On which note, I'd like to wish you and your family a very happy Easter.